Hey guys, welcome back to Plumber Parts. My name's James. Today we're going to be cutting in half a very, very simple plumbing product. This here, the drain cock. This is going to be the first in our midweek in half series. And as you know, in other midweek videos, we'll be doing plumbing disasters and also tools I love and also your comments. So comment on what you think about this video below. The reason I want to do this is because I think it's going to give apprentices, DIYs, other plumbers and also people just interested a better idea about how little things like this are put together and how they work. So let's have a closer look at the drain cock now. You're going to find drain cocks like this one on loads of different heating systems in the UK and also around the world. They're really, really common. What they consist of is three moving parts. We've got the inner sheath here. We've got this outer sheath here and then on the inside we have a free flowing and moving smaller plunger just there and all of them go together to tighten up and make a drain cock just like that. The water we're holding back is on this side and when we open this out water is going to come out of this spout just here. So let's cut it in half and see how it works. Sometimes you just gotta worry the PPE. I mean our whole world's all about PPE now isn't it? Staying safe. And this is quite a good way of doing it. Let's get cutting. So how do these work? So we've got our two halves here like that and as you've seen I've just cut this beast in half to show you exactly how they work now. Let's take this little half out of the way. So we've got our water on this side, then we've got our thread in here and then we've got our spout coming out of here. So the first piece that goes in and the most important bit obviously is this piece here. Now that does up onto this thread, you can see we've got a thread on here and that sits inside this thread just here and that will do up when we're doing that square up, that square end with either a key or an adjustable spanner and that will wind all the way until it meets the small seat just here, that small seat just there as you can see that is now in the off position water on this side cannot get out because we've made a seal between the rubber here and this small seat here now an important thing to define is this rubber sits on this plunger here that moves independently and freely are actually what's exerting a pressure this way to make that seal. It's really important because if this and this were fixed what would happen is the rubber would spin around and score on the seat it was supposed to be sealing up on and eventually probably after about 10 uses it would fail, it would just go wrong. That's not to say that these don't fail and we'll come to that in a minute. So what goes around here to stop this from leaking if we undo it because say we undo it like this at the moment water will be able to move down here and also through this thread here and out of the end there we put our hose on this bit here and it's important that only water can go down this hose spigot just like so so what we do is we have a rubber o-ring like that that moves freely and this piece here that goes over the top like so and can do up just like that and having that other thread just on here is enough to stop water coming out of the spigot there and actually wanting to go down the hole here off to our drain point outside or where our hose may be attached. The thing that can go wrong with these is that sometimes we can remove all of this like so and all that will be left inside is our rubber seal stuck here sometimes it's even stuck with a little metal pin that goes down the middle of it and what you'll then see is a plumber will have to reach in down this hole here with either a screwdriver or an allen key or even a pair of long nose pliers to try and waggle and get that out and then once that's happened you can usually then replace all of the innards not having to worry about replacing the whole valve itself and then shutting it up like that 
there you go. That's pretty much what a shut drain cock looks like. And that's how one of these little drain cocks works. So there you go. I hope you've realized there. It's a very simple video, isn't it? Just by cutting one of these in half and me having to give away the small drain cock that I would have used on a job. Just by doing that, you can see exactly how one of these works. You can see why they fail, what they can fail on. And it's generally very common that you'll find the rubber seal on this has either stuck shut in that shut position and you've taken everything out and nothing's come out and you're a bit like, Oh, what's going on here? Or the other thing is you can do these up again and the rubber seal is so hard and it's been open and closed so many times that it doesn't make a proper seal. Oh, you've seen me in other videos snatch one of these live. Now when I say snatching, I mean what I've done is I've taken everything out, popped a hose outside, put my finger over the end, quickly changed the rubber seal and then bunged it all back in again. In fact, I did it on a radiator video a couple of weeks ago when I was at my wife's mum's home. Snatched the drain cock as well, live all fun and joy and all something that you should think oh when the plumber came round and did the radiators he did so much more and it was so so much grief it's like yeah this is the reason why most people don't become plumbers because it can be a right bum hole i mean think of the loft and everything else yeah <laughs> prepare yourself for drain cock bleeding out noises war film style Um, there are going to be other things that I want to chop apart and show you how they work. And in fact, I was inspired to do this series when we chopped apart and showed you inside an expansion vessel. Uh, sorry, I said that loads last time. Inside a heat exchanger. So what I want to show you is how things work and, and what's inside them and what are the, the common things that can fail on them. Because it doesn't matter what manufacturers say, it doesn't matter which manufacturer makes something or not, moving parts and water and hot and cold, hot and cold, hot and cold, tend to mean that things fail after a time. It's just a part of life, okay? So what we're going to show you next, I think it'd be quite cool if we show you inside a pump. Um, I think it'd be quite cool if we showed you inside a TRV body and also a TRV head. Hopefully not a wax one because I know wax will go everywhere. Um, but why don't you comment below what you want to see me cut in half in the next in half video. And I'll see if I can pop down the scrapyard, which is just a few doors down from my studio. See if I can dig out any old relics, stuff that's been taken in so we can cut it apart and show you inside. And that can be anything from an expansion vessel to a hot water tank, to a boiler, to a radiator. Quite happy skim off the side of a radiator so we can have a look at that as well. Why don't you comment below what you'd like to see in the next in half video. I'll see you in the next main Saturday video that will be going out obviously on Saturday morning. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's so important. Please do that. Sorry to interrupt the video. I just want to tell you about the app Tradify, the app that I use to organize my diary, freeing up more time for me to do things like this. Practice my insane golf skills. I certainly hope I don't break the camera doing this. Anyway, this is what it's all about. Tradify will help you. That's not a bad first chip, guys, just so you know. Tell you what, let me concentrate on this and I'll let Virtual Jimmy tell you exactly what it does. I'm going to do this in Yorkshire. Tradeify is the fastest growing job management platform online for tradesmen. It's the perfect tool to help you stay on top of business admin, job quotes, estimates, most importantly invoices, timesheets, appointments and GPS tracking, plus loads of other stuff in the app as well. So close! It's compatible with Android and iOS. Plus, there's also a desktop app you can use from your computer. And as ever, I'm not going to do it anymore. And as ever, you guys will be able to use the code PLUMBERPARTS and the link below to get 50% off the first three months off your Tradify account after the 14-day free trial. Get in. Come on! So there you go. That's why I use Tradify, just to make sure that I can actually practice my golf swing which obviously needs a lot of practice. Some of them are nice, a thinned a few. Thanks ever so much for watching. See you soon. Hold tight. Adios amigos.